Hello guys, this is Dr. Som and today I'm going to cover up a video on tabulation. So, why do we do tabulation? Because tabulation is a very handy tool which gives you a bird eye, bird's eye view on the whole data set. Probably in the general list if I see here in this particular data set, I have gender and their education listed against it. So, I just want to know that how many males are there, how many females are there in my data set and what are their different educations you know so i just want to see how big this data set is like there are in total 100 entries in this particular data set so you know calculating manually that how many males and females are there applying some filters and just counting them so that becomes a very lengthy job so i'm going to use two different tools here one is a pivot table tool and other is uh, a count if function tool so right now I'm using a pivot table tool to create a table. So what I have to do is I can, the first requirement is you should put your cursor within the table where you want to, the data for which you want to create a pivot table. Like if my cursor is here, that is not a good thing. And like some, sometimes the pivot table tool doesn't work. So you need to put your cursor within the data set where you want to work the data on. So I have two options to invoke pivot table. Either I can go to insert and then I can click pivot table right from here and it automatically considers the whole range one thing is this other way is you press the keyboard shortcut it is alt and v so you press alt and v then immediately this uh, you know, uh, dialog box appears which invokes the pivot table tool right here I just have to see the range whether it's taking right range or not it is taking the range tables a1 to B is 101 and that is exactly my data set so it is I'm taking the complete data set sometimes I don't want the complete data set so I can you know click on this radio button and adjust my range from here I'll cover it up in the next video I can use an external data source right here if my data is on some external hard drive or perhaps on a central server or perhaps I want to pick it up online from somewhere now where I want to place my output Either I can put it on new worksheet or I can put it on existing worksheet. Generally, if there is a lot of data on your existing worksheet and there is no space to put up the pivot table, then you should use new worksheet option. But uh, right now on this worksheet, I can see there is a lot of space available. So I'm going to click on existing worksheet. Then immediately it asks me for a location, a destination, where I want to put my pivot table or dump my pivot table. So I click on this radio button click here let's say I want to put up my table in D2 cell and I click OK and I say OK then immediately I get this kind of window right here so this is you know kind of crafting pane where I'm going to craft my pivot table and these are the field names suppose I just want to know first thing I want to know is how many males and females are there in data so I click hold my gender by using my left click mouse button holding my left mouse click drag and drop it to rows so immediately you can see the two names appear here female and male the two field names in fact now I'm going to click gender again drag and drop it to values so the moment I drag and drop it to values it gives me count of gender right here so it is very easy very quick and the probability of error is very low it comes with a ready-made filter you can you don't want female in your data set you can deselect it and you can click ok and it is going to give you only males you can select all of them and uh, what you can do is you can rename that just put your cursor and start typing like gender and this you can type in as frequency uh, sometimes what happens is once you are doing pivot table you generally get some of values here this is frequency which is count so how you can connect it you can right click it and on it go to value field settings and show values as sorry summarize values as count make sure that this option is highlighted sometimes by default this option is highlighted and the table is going to look like something like this so i'm going to you go to value field setting settings and going to highlight count and say okay Next step, next video, I will be doing the cost step. Thank you.